Leopold II of Belgium was one of the most ruthless and wicked rulers in history. During his reign, which lasted from 1865 to 1909, he brutally oppressed and exploited the people of the Congo, resulting in the deaths of millions of innocent men, women, and children. Leopold's reign began with the establishment of the Congo Free State, which he claimed as his personal property. Under this system, he imposed a reign of terror on the Congolese people, using violence, torture, and forced labor to extract rubber and other resources from the region. One of the most horrific aspects of Leopold's rule was the widespread mutilation of Congolese people, with the severing of hands being a common punishment for those who failed to meet rubber quotas. This practice caused untold suffering and trauma, and led to the deaths of countless individuals who were unable to perform basic tasks due to their injuries. Leopold's agents also engaged in widespread rape and sexual abuse of Congolese women and girls, with these acts of violence serving as a means of exerting control over the population. Women and girls who were assaulted often faced lifelong physical and psychological trauma as a result. In addition to the physical violence, Leopold's rule was also characterized by the destruction of Congolese culture and values. Traditional customs and practices were suppressed, and many Congolese people were forced to adopt European customs and values against their will. Leopold's greed and disregard for human life knew no bounds, and he continued to exploit the Congo even as reports of the atrocities committed by his agents began to emerge. Despite international condemnation and public outrage, he remained steadfast in his determination to extract as much profit from the region as possible. Many European powers were complicit in Leopold's crimes, as they stood to benefit from the resources being extracted from the Congo. This complicity helped to shield Leopold from scrutiny and allowed him to continue his reign of terror for decades. The Congolese people had no recourse to justice or protection under Leopold's rule, as they were subject to the whims of his agents and faced brutal punishment for any perceived disobedience or resistance. This lack of protection and accountability made it possible for Leopold and his agents to engage in unimaginable atrocities with impunity. The psychological toll of Leopold's rule was immense, with generations of Congolese people traumatized by the horrors that they had witnessed and experienced. This trauma has had long-lasting effects on the Congo and its people, and has contributed to ongoing cycles of violence and instability in the region. Leopold's rule was also characterized by rampant corruption, with his agents engaging in bribery, embezzlement, and other forms of financial misconduct in order to enrich themselves. This corruption further destabilized the region and contributed to ongoing poverty and economic inequality. Despite the scale of the atrocities committed under his rule, Leopold remained largely untouched by the consequences of his actions. He died in 1909, having amassed a vast personal fortune at the expense of millions of innocent lives. The legacy of Leopold's reign continues to haunt the Congo to this day, with ongoing cycles of violence and political instability rooted in the trauma and division that he sowed. The country remains one of the poorest in the world, with millions of people living in poverty and lacking access to basic services such as healthcare and education. The Congolese people have continued to demand justice and accountability for the atrocities committed under Leopold's rule, and many have called for reparations and other forms of restitution to be provided to those who have suffered as a result of his actions. The story of Leopold's rule serves as a stark reminder of the dangers of unchecked power and the corrosive effects of imperialism. Leopold's reign is a testament to the brutal exploitation and oppression that can result from unchecked greed and a disregard for human life and dignity. Leopold's actions in the Congo were not simply the result of personal cruelty or sadism, but were driven by a systemic logic of exploitation and domination that was all too common among European imperial powers during the era of colonialism. The colonial legacy of Leopold's rule has had far-reaching consequences, both for the Congo and for the broader global order. It has contributed to ongoing patterns of inequality, exploitation, and violence, and has helped to perpetuate systems of oppression and domination that continue to shape the world today. At the same time, the legacy of Leopold's rule has also inspired resistance and rebellion among those who have suffered under his yoke. 
The stories of resistance and resilience that have emerged from the Congo in the wake of his reign stand as a testament to the human spirit and its capacity to resist even the most oppressive and dehumanizing systems of power. Today, the Congo remains a site of ongoing struggle and resistance, as people continue to fight for justice, accountability, and the recognition of their dignity and rights. The legacy of Leopold's rule continues to shape the struggle for justice in the Congo and beyond, and serves as a reminder of the ongoing importance of fighting against all forms of oppression and exploitation. In the face of the atrocities committed under Leopold's rule, it is easy to feel despair or hopelessness. But we must remember that the struggle for justice and liberation is ongoing, and that the forces of oppression and domination can be overcome through collective action and resistance. The story of Leopold's rule is a tragic one, but it also serves as a warning and a call to action. We must work together to confront and resist systems of oppression and domination, and to build a world in which all people are free to live with dignity, respect, and justice. The legacy of Leopold's rule continues to impact the lives of millions of Congolese people, and its effects can be seen in the ongoing struggles for justice and liberation that take place across the country. One of the most devastating effects of Leopold's reign was the impact it had on the Congo's population. Estimates suggest that as many as 10 million people died as a result of Leopold's rule, either directly through violence, forced labor, and disease, or indirectly through the destruction of their communities and ways of life. In addition to the loss of life, Leopold's rule also had a profound impact on the Congo's social and cultural fabric. The forced labor practices and violent repression that characterized his rule destroyed traditional social structures and ways of life, and contributed to the erosion of cultural traditions and practices. The effects of this system can still be seen in the ongoing patterns of inequality and exploitation that shape the world today. Despite the overwhelming evidence of Leopold's atrocities, his legacy continues to be celebrated in some circles, particularly in Belgium. Monuments and memorials to Leopold continue to stand in cities and towns across the country, and his reign is often romanticized as a period of great economic and social progress. This celebration of Leopold's legacy is a testament to the ongoing power of colonial narratives and the ways in which they continue to shape our understanding of the past and present. It is a reminder of the ongoing importance of questioning dominant narratives and working to uncover the hidden histories and legacies of colonialism and imperialism. Ultimately, the story of Leopold's reign in the Congo is a story of power, greed, and violence. It is a reminder of the ways in which unchecked power can be used to exploit and oppress others, and of the ongoing struggles for justice and liberation that take place in the face of such power. As we work to build a more just and equitable world, we must remember the lessons of Leopold's reign and continue to fight against all forms of oppression and domination.